This is Raptor News, and people remain to be Christians because they believe it gives them the right to reign in iniquity and sin. And I'm going to tell you and show you today, point blank, that you are going to get sent to hell very soon because this world is ending and that you cannot keep sinning or else you're going to pay the ultimate price, hell fire. We're going to start with 1 John 3, 8. He that committed sin is of the devil. So what is God saying? Those people who continuously sin, you from the devil, you are devils. Because what did Christ say? Satan was a sinner from the beginning, right? And a murderer, right? So I asked the question, did Jesus sin? They all said, no, he was sinless. Then why do you, why do you, why do you sin and then say you follow Christ? If your leader was sinless, why are you lying and sinning? Hebrews 10, 26. For if we sin willfully, after that we have received the knowledge of the truth, there remaineth no more sacrifice for your sins. Jesus' blood ain't going to wash that. You can remain in church all you want to and clap and praise on Sunday and all the crap that y'all do, but you're going to pay like hell in hell soon. John 9, 41. Jesus said unto them, If you were blind, you should have no sin. But now you say, We see. We understand. We got guided by God. Therefore, your sin remains, says Jesus. If you didn't see the law, and that's what he's talking about because we're going to get into that. You was blind to the law, then you don't have no sin. Nobody ever told you what was right or wrong. But the law is connected to the Bible for a reason, for that reason, so that you can say, uh, we, we know the law, therefore your sin remaineth, says Christ. John 15, 22. If I had not come and spoken unto them, they had not had sin. Again, he's saying the same thing. Where did Jesus come? He didn't come to detest the law. He came to fulfill it. So if I didn't come and tell them the law, they wouldn't have had sin. But now they have no cloak for their sins, no covering for their sins on the day of judgment before God. I keep saying, Christians think they're going to get a pass through Jesus to escape and go around God. You ain't going around God. God is going to fire your ass. Romans 3.20 Therefore by the deeds of the law there shall no flesh be justified in his sight. For by the law is the knowledge of sin. Once you know the law and you ain't blind to the law says Christ you're going to hell. Why do you read not the Johns and Romans and all that? I said I'll read if they tell the truth. And I said, I'll read if I'm showing you an example. But this is what you say you believe. So believe. The law is attached, I'm reminding you again, to the Bible. And everyone has knowledge of sin. The Ten Commandments is, was in the courthouse. James 4, 17. Therefore to him that knoweth to do good, you know the law again, and does it not, to him it is sin. Did someone ever tell you, you know, you, you, you can't fornicate, man. You, you can't be gay. You can't be carnal like that. You can't do them drugs, man. You can't kill nobody. Who told you to run them streets? Who told you we be clubbing? You're going to hell. 1 John 3, 4. Whosoever committeth sin is transgressing also the law. So you don't even have to read the Torah. The moment you did sin, you transgressed the law. 
and then sin is the transgression of the law. Sin is the transgression of the law. That's First John 3, 9. Whosoever is born of God does not commit sin. If you're from God, you don't do sin. Sin is from the devil. And the devils do sin. Because they don't know God. They don't know that God is going to fire their asses. And fire me, throw you in the hell or the lake of fire. Seven, John 7, 49. But this people who know it not the law are cursed. Again, you know, we don't go by the, the, the Torah. This people who don't know the Torah are cursed. Matthew 25, 41. Then shall he say also unto them on the left hand, Depart from me, you cursed, into everlasting fire. These people who are trying to escape the law, the Torah, are cursed into everlasting fire. Prepare for the devil and his angels, his children. He that committed sin is of the devil, his children. Yeah. Keep washing it in the blood of Jesus and find out where you're going to end up at. 2 Timothy 2.19 Nevertheless, the foundation of God standeth sure, having this seal. The Lord knoweth them that are his. Why? Because they don't sin. And let everyone that nameth the name of Christ depart from iniquity. Not wash it in the blood of Jesus. Stop doing sin. If you're going to say, Christ, Yahawashai, Yahushua, Yahuwah, right? Jesus Luke 13 27 but he shall say I tell you I know you not whence are you where'd you come from depart from me all you who all you workers of iniquity because he already told you before the day of judgment if you're gonna say Christ depart from iniquity if you don't then depart on the day of judgment into hell it's prepared for the devil and his angels. And then who is his angels? 1 John 3, 8 again. Ending with it. He that committed sin is of the devil. And that's what hell is prepared for. Sinners. You ain't going to escape it in the blood of Jesus or through Christianity. This is Raptor News.